Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Savannah at Purple Phoenix and today we're going to be starting our brand new Animal Crossing Island. So this is going to be a farmy cottagecore themed island. I talk about it more in my previous video that I posted a couple days ago, like a day ago. I don't know how many days ago it was because I don't know when I'm going to be posting this obviously. But if you want more information on exactly what I'm going to be doing on this island, you should go watch that video, which I'll be putting a link to it down in the description. It shouldn't be too hard to find, though. It's like the only other video I have on the channel when I'm recording this. <laughs> but I will still put a link to it down below. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and boot up the, the game and we're going to get started. All right, here we go. So just as a quick disclaimer, I have not started a brand new island since March of 2020. This is my second island. I'm gonna get all the March 2020 feels here. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna turn it up for myself just a little bit so I can hear it a little better. There we go, now I can hear it. I want all the feels. I want it all. Okay, why is it is it supposed to do this? What's happening? Oh, I was about to say like, please don't tell me it brought all my other stuff over. That's not what I want. <laughs> Did suddenly get cloud saves. Good morning. We're so excited to have you here. I'll just be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the check-in counter for your deserted island getaway package. Yay! There's so much to look forward to, but first let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Inc. And I'm Tommy. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul. So let's get started, shall we? The first step is checking your application. Is this your first time applying for one of our packages? Um... I guess I say yes it is, because I guess if I say I'm moving, it's gonna want me to move stuff over? Is that what it wants? I'm just gonna say yes it is, because I don't... I don't know. Yeah, yeah it is! It's the first time. I didn't sit here thinking about that. Understood. Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Okay. My name is Savannah. Oh my. <laughs> it's Savannah at Purple Phoenix. <laughs> no, Savannah. I don't know. Is that an offensive word? I mean. Kind of my personal info. <laughs> We're going with it. All right, my birthday is December eighteenth. Oops, there it is, December eighteenth. Yep. I always like to check it because on an old Animal Crossing game I had, I set it to February eighteenth. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Oh yes, here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Savannah. Oh, don't worry. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. Oh, good. We'll be ready when you are. Alright. I am this. I don't look like that. Alright. Not that. Okay. Uh, the hair. The hair. I remember being so excited that you could have, like, long hair in this game. When I saw the trailer, I was like, we can have long hair now. I used to have really long hair, but I guess I have to go with that. Oh, yeah, that's correct. All right, let's see. Eyes. Uh, okay, wait, which one's... Why am I blanking on what eyes I normally use? Mm. 
This shouldn't be hard. I think I use these. Do I use these? Why is this difficult? This shouldn't be hard. Okay, we'll, we'll go with it. There we go. And no, I don't have no rosy cheeks. Is this too yellow? I don't think I'm that yellow skinned. Maybe I'm that one. This outfit. Why do I have to start like this? Alright, yeah, this is me. Does everything look okay? You can change your look later. Yeah. Great, you're all set. Of course, I have to wait till I get a mirror, which takes forever just to get a mirror. I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. And now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting. You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. What I mean is, we have islands in both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. So tell me, where do you live now? I live in North America. Ah, excellent. That information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. So, naturally, we recommend that you relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. Why don't you tell me where to go? There are a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay to you so far? Alright, now I gotta make a decision. It would be easier with time traveling if I did the Northern Hemisphere. But if I did the Southern Hemisphere... If I did the Southern Hemisphere, it would be spring right now. I could get all the March 2022... Uh, March 2020 feels. Mm, I'll just go northern because I think it'll be easier to time travel if I go northern. Because I'll get all the months mixed up and not know what season is what. Very good. We have a number of lovely and uninhabited islands in the northern hemisphere to choose from. I'm surprised you have any left because there are like a gazillion islands that people have chosen in the northern hemisphere. I'm surprised you have any left. <laughs> Now then, all of our islands are approximately the same size, and they're all quite natural. I'd hope they wouldn't be fake, so... So don't worry about whether you'll have enough space or comfort, you can't go wrong. Just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I'd do it. I'll show you some maps now, and you can choose the best one for your new home. Ooh. I actually got a map with the resident services right in front of the airport. Oh, that's kind of close though. But that's off a little bit. Hmm. Do I like any of these? I like either that one or that one. Ooh. Ooh. Now, see, um,. I won't be able to get stuff from my other island because I'm using the same Nintendo account. I didn't realize that when I made the last video, but I thought about it and I was like, oh, I won't be able to travel in between the two. So I'm going to have to get the vaulting pole, the shovel, the ladder all by myself, but I'm going to time travel, so it'll be fast anyway, but I still have to get it by myself. See, this is a huge first starting portion. It's a little close. Oh my goodness, no. Oh, I don't have the zoom in feature on the Switch? Why not? I was gonna try to zoom in and look at it closer. And they're all kind of close. I wish this one was like that. Same space as that. That's what I wish it was. Uh, well, look at the secret beaches. I don't want that. That's like really far off. 
That's in the center, though. That one's a bit off-center. Where's the dock? This one has the dock on the right, like I'm used to. It also has the private island on the left. Mm. I'm gonna go this one. Yep, we're gonna go that one. Wonderful choice. I can't wait to show it off to you. Ah, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. If you'd only bring one thing with you to a deserted island, what would it be? I can't believe the first Splat Fest in Splatoon, that wasn't the demos, the actual game, was, would you bring gear, grub, or fun? So why'd I choose gear, grub, or fun, basically? I would choose... I would choose gear because you could, we'll see here, I would choose a lamp or food. So they're not just saying gear grub or fun. I would probably bring, I'll just bring some food. I don't want to start. How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. That was just a hypothetical question. No cake will fully cover all of your basic needs. Yes, yes. Your attention, please. This is a service announcement. The chartered flight from Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Ah, perfect timing. Come on, let's all board the plane together. Alright. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about deserted island life. Alright, I'm ready for all the feels. Got my... water. Fall is still my favorite time of the year. Oh, but the cherry blossoms. I had a little jaw drop moment when I sat here watching this in March. And games don't typically make me feel like that, but this game did. I'm getting all the feels. I am getting all the feels. Oh. the potential. It's been so long since I've designed anything in Animal Crossing, so I'm so excited for unlimited potential. Because it's been forever. Okay, so that's not what colored plane I'm getting. You just start in a white plane. I don't know why you can't have that plane. I know you can get a white airport, but why can't I have that, that plane? You don't get that particular plane either. Even if you get a white airport. My first island is a green airport, and my starter villagers were Sylvia and Snake, and I've got oranges. I hate oranges. No, it's awful. It's awful. Why would I want that? Okay, red. That's not red, by the way, that's orange. What is this garbage? What what are these? I didn't get any villagers. Where are my villagers? <laughs> no. Now I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. We're heading there right now if you'd like to move the L stick to follow us. Okay, so this is cat. She's cat, yeah. We can chat later, I wanna see where this is going. Dang, and you're... You're not Rex, who are you? You're Mott? Mott? Ew. <laughs> no. No. Oh dear, oh, okay. Oh wait, wrong button. I keep pushing B. All right, is that everyone? Let's see. Cat here? And how about Mott? 
And there's Savannah, of course. Great, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. Yes, yes, very good. Let's see, how shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook, Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island. So congratulations! And this is a package deal, hmm? As such, Nook, Inc. staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety, and to take all of your money. Real and fake money. But first things first, yes, yes. I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections and construction and real estate and... Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy and then choose a spot to place it. Alright, what you got for me, Timmy? Here you go, Savannah. Your very own tent. Once you find the perfect spot, press X to access your- yeah, 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 I know how to do this. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. And you'll want a little breathing room, so take your time finding a space that works for you. Well, I suppose I should probably set you up with a map, too. <laughs> give us a map right away. In population growing, they don't give you a map for a little bit. Once you've put up your tent, please find your way back here. Use your new map if you need it. Well, off you go. I hope you find a great spot. Alright. Alright, now I want to take a good look at this. Okay. Ugh. I can probably figure out how to make this work. I'm trying to figure out, like, entrance planning. Let's run around. I'm probably just going to put my tent on the beach. And the villagers' tents will go on the beaches as well, because it'll be easier to design if I just stick everything on a beach. gonna put my tent right here. Actually, I'm gonna scoot it over just a little bit. I need to rethink it. Put it right here. There we go. Uh, let me imagine it real quick. Just get a good feel for how that looks. That looks great. I set up my tent. That's a big first step. It is indeed. I remember I spent like 15 minutes figuring out where I was going to stick my stinking tent. Yo, I'm Mott. You're Savannah, right? Nice to meet you. KG. Ew. This guy. This guy's the first to go. He is. No. Cat is okay. I don't even want a lion on my island. He needs to be the first to go. You all ready? Set up your tent, eh? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's gotta have lots of fresh air. You don't look like you exercise. I think the spot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Savannah? Uh, I'll find you a spot. What, you help me find a sweet spot to put this tent? Seriously? Wow, we just met and you're already doing some heavy lifting on our friendship, Savannah. Okay then, can't wait to see the epic spot you picked for me. Yep, you're going right on the beach. Far away from my tent. My tent is in your hands, KG. You got this. If you need me, I'll be over at the plaza visualizing how awesome island life is going to be. I'll be visualizing how awesome this island is going to be when you're not in it. I can't believe I got Mott. Alright, you're, you're going here. I'm going to get my own beach and the villagers get their beach. Mott's got a place for his tent now. Hooray. Okay, cat. Where are you? You're right here. You're- wait. I got it. Don't tell me. You're Savannah, right? See, told you I had it. I'm cat. I gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing. Perty. Goodness. You already found a good spot, huh? I was trying to just feel for the best spot. But I was having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. I couldn't just sit here thinking it over forever, so I grabbed a stick and threw it. And here's where it landed. Your stick actually landed, like, back there, but... Okay. So now this is my spot. Okay, I know there's only so far I can throw the stick, but I'm liking this. Your stick's over there. But I'm gonna find you a spot, because this is a horrible spot. 
Whoa, for real? You're gonna pick out the perfect spot for me? You do that for someone you just met. You know, you're all right, Savannah. In that case, here you go. It's your show now. Purdy and Cagey. That's like the worst catchphrases. You go pick out the perfect spot for that tent I gave you. I'm gonna go wait at the plaza in the meantime, okay? Yeah. Sure, you and your new friend Mott are going over here. Mm. I might have to put her like right up here. Oh, there's a fish and I can't catch it because I don't have a fishing rod. Right here. Oh my goodness. Okay, fine. I guess I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to put her house close to mine. That's okay. At least it's not Mott's house. Alright, her house can go right here. Yes, you can go here. Everyone's just living on the beach. I do like how you can put the tents on the beach. That is nice. Cat's got a place for her tent now. Looks like everyone has a spot picked out for their tents now. I need to get back to the plaza. I don't get to walk there, you just teleport me? Like, five steps away? Okay. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all just found the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while, hmm? Really get a feel for how it suits you. Yeah, and then you're gonna make us spend like 10,000 bells just to move our houses. And without taking care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing an island warming party! We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We'll just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Since we'll be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see. Timmy, Cat, Tommy, and Mott can set up things here in the plaza. Meanwhile, Savannah and I will work on gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. And you'll stand in the plaza and do nothing, and I'll just work for you. Alright, everyone, let's get to it. Savannah, would you come see me for a moment? If I have to. <laughs> Thinking hard. Thinking hard. Ah, uh, Savannah, I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly 10 tree branches should do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So when you find one lying on the ground, just press Y to pick it up. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the orange-like items growing on the trees. I suspect they're real oranges. I hope they're not fake oranges, because Timmy and Tommy already promised me I'm getting an all-natural experience. Two, we're gonna learn how to count today. Three... Four. Oh, I picked up a weed. Five. I'm gonna have to weed the whole place anyway. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Alright. We learned how to count. We are successful. Why are you sweeping the dirt, dude? Oh, welcome back. I trust you had some success foraging for tree branches? Very well. Allow me to lighten your load. I could just, like, chuck them on the ground, you know. Yes, yes, that should be plenty for a campfire. You made quick work of that. I'm getting glad. I'm, I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. Oh ho! And speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the did it. I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like oranges, they smell like oranges, and they even taste like oranges. So hang on. You stood in this spot, you used your laser gare gaze. Your la I'm the worst. Use your laser gaze to look at the the oranges and you're like yeah they taste like oranges <laughs> in fact they are 100 percent without a doubt g genuine oranges so will you collect six of them for me now i'm sure that you don't need much guidance here but just in case you see a tree growing oranges you can press a to shake it then just pick the fruit up i'm sure you'll have plenty of oranges for us all in no time you said six right i actually wasn't paying attention <laughs> oh no <laughs> Oh no, this is already going to be awful, I can tell. Okay, here we go. Three... I'll pick up six. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You know what, we'll go for nine. I'm going to have to plant these oranges anyway, so... Why not? Why not? Yep. Yep. 
All right, Tom Nook. Well, well, I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take those oranges off your hands and get started on the preparations. A <laughs> little tape deck in the background making a cameo appearance. <laughs> That's the first music box you get in population growing. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Yay! We got a fire! At last, allow me to properly welcome you to, to your new island. I've participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting, and your most successful, to be honest with you. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen. And perhaps my skills as an, as an endorse, uh, outdoorsman, hmm? Oh-ho. Now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt that, with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into... I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore, hmm? But what should we call it? I knew. I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put in, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules. Hmm? So take a little time to think. When everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. Okay, so I'd actually already been thinking about what I wanted to do. I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget, but I have to do this. All right, here it is. So I'm going to be naming this island. Nochi. Nochi is Japanese for farmland. Okay, so it's the O with the line over it. Am I blocking something? Oh wait, maybe this? Here we go. Do you, oh, here it is. I say, do you not have that? Nochi, Japanese for farmland. According to Google Translate, so I hope that's right, actually. <laughs> um, I'm hoping this isn't offensive. <laughs> Alright, is everyone ready? Let's try saying our ideas all at the same time. Ready? Go! Utopia, Bellevue, Isle del Biceps, Guitar Burrow, or whatever. What splendid variety. Yes, yes. Each one a potential gym. Now for the voting. I'll say each name in order, and you can clap for the one you think is best. Savannah seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities. Well, thank you. Let's start there. So Savannah suggested... Nochi! Yay! That's perfect! Wow, that's an overwhelmingly positive response. Each and every one of you clap. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Nochi. Okay, sounds great. It rocks. Absolutely. <laughs> Goodness, these jocks. Splendid. Then from now on, this island will be known as Nochi. Well, Savannah, since you've proven yourself by naming Nochi, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'll need to make on this island. Yes, yes, I hereby name you the resident representative of Nochi. And any other villagers that I want to move in here don't get to put up bridges, which is that. Savannah, could you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson for your neighbors? A word or two! Because that's definitely something I would say. <laughs> hmm, so... We've settled on a name for our island and we selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast! Where'd you get those glasses from? Everyone have a beverage in hand? How did we get a beverage? It's fresh juice made from oranges our new resident representative harvested on this very on this very island. I hate it when I do this. <laughs> you know what I was trying to say. Then without further ado, a toast to Nochi and the happiness of its residents. Cheers! I clink my Joy-Con at you. Yay! I don't have any emotes, so I can't dance or anything. Alright, Tom Nut. Ah, Savannah, having a good time, yes? I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. Maybe I'll go do that. Sounds good to me, but first, you'll probably want this. 
It's your very own camping cot. You'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Oh, and there are a few packages waiting in your tent as well, hmm? Just a few items that might be useful. Open packages and use the things inside, press A. And when you're ready, you can move the L stick to crawl into bed. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes, that's all from me for now. Sweet dreams, Savannah. Thank you, Nookie. I go into bed now. Where's my tent? Here it is. Don't even know where I put my own tent. Alright. What do you give me? Probably some garbage. Okay. I think a lantern. Oh, a radio. Why is the stuff positioned like this? I can't. Can I move it yet? I can. Alright. So. Nice. A blue cot. I think I had like a camo cot the first time I played. Rest my head for a little while. Rest. I'm getting sleepy. I'm sleepy. It's been a lot of work. I can't talk right. I have to name things? I need water? Alright. Oh, it's KK. KK's my favorite Animal Crossing character. He is... He's the best. So it looks like you've decided to make your own way into the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. That's all the way right, Daddy-o. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world was made for exploring, you know? Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah, but take it from a cat who's been on the road. Being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. You've got to make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world is Squaresville without some pals. Yeah, man, friends are where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up. That rap I just gave you about friends? It's pretty key. You'll dig this island life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends, if that's your scene. Yeah, an island paradise with your best pals sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life, and I'll catch you later. Alright. Ah, I don't want to talk to you. Are you in there? Oh, I hope I haven't woken you abruptly. Uh, but I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes, I'll be here when you're ready. Okay. I hope my dog wasn't, like, disturbing too much. He's really being a butt right now. Ah, there you are. I hope you had a pleasant nap. Or, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. I slept that long. Is it that long? Oh ho ho, yes, it's quite normal to be worn out from such a long trip and a major life event. Don't get me started, Tom Nook. Speaking of which, I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to life in our little paradise. First, you'll need one of these, yes? I got an iPhone! It's iPhone 14! Let's go! It's your very own Nook phone! Oh, it's still got the little button in the center. I don't have those anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's hilarious. And these made especially for island residents. Ah, I want to make sure it's working right, so could you try turning it on for me, hmm? We have cell service here? I like it when I actually go on my phone and I pull up the Nook app and I actually feel like I'm using a Nook phone. It's great. Good, good. Looks like you're getting good reception as well. How do we have cell service out here? Or Wi-Fi? What tricks do you have, Tom Nook? Okay, feel free to put it away now. Say, Savannah, have you ever used a smartphone before? Uh, I have one of my own. Very good, then this should be a breeze for you. In fact, I think you'll find it much more useful than the phone you already have. I don't know. I mean... If you say so. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. There's also a very useful app that contains advice for living here. Oh! Normally this would be free of charge, but as you're getting started, consider it an extra bonus. It's called Island Life 101, and it is a message delivery service of sorts. Feel like giving it a try, hmm? Uh, I don't need it. So what this is, this was added in the 2.0 update, so I, I didn't get this when I first started playing this game. It's just going to give me like little tips like, oh, why don't you try fishing? Or why don't you try catching bugs? And I, I don't I don't need that. I have 1,700 hours in the game. 
Oh my, oh my, you're quite certain? Well, I suppose figuring out your own way around new surroundings can be a fun adventure too, hmm? Yes, yes, if you change your mind, you can always get the app later at Resident Services. Are you going to make me pay for it again? Alright, that's enough about the app for now. I do have one more thing for you, however. Oh no. It's your itemized bill. He's a scammer. He's a scammer. I <laughs> have no bells. <laughs> if I play Shin Growing, you start with a thousand bells. I just have no bells. So this includes everything. Air, airfare. That's a weird word. Airfare. Accommodations, labor, tax, and of course your Nook phone. Hmm? How about labor tax? Like, labor tax is one thing. Bring your grand total to the modest sum of 49,800 bells. I'm gonna choke. Okay. Okay, we have no choice anyway. Yes, yes, well then- Wait, you don't have any bells? I can't believe I didn't think of this. Of course. Just stuff it in my pockets and we never see it again. Well, no need to worry. I was prepared for exactly this type of tricky situation. With the getaway package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of the standard bells. I have to walk? Uh, I call this extremely helpful service the Nook Mileage Program. What's that? Well, it's quite extraordinary if I do say so myself. With the Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles by simply living your life here in Nochi. And taking walks? I have to exercise? And dare I say, the more you enjoy your island life, the more Nook Miles you can earn. I don't know if I like exercise. And you can use them to pay back your move-in fees and much more. So the bottom line is, you'd need 49,800 bells to pay your move-in fees with this new service. Would you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles. I've walked like two miles a day. That's gonna... I'm gonna be here for a few years. I'll just go ahead and register you so you can pay in miles. Yes, yes, but there are more details available within your Nook phone. Just open the Nook Miles app. And you'll see that you've earned some miles just for traveling to the island and joining the program. Oh, good, so flying counts. Alright, good. Th does driving count? Driving and flying, does that count? Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get back to a few other matters. Let me heartily congratulate you once again on your arrival. I'm so happy to have you as a resident of Nochi and a client of Nook Inc. Well, thank you, Tom Nook. I've always wanted to walk around. My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! Alright, probably get some... Oh. From now on, island time will match the flow of time in the real world. No, it won't, because I'm going to be changing the time around. Do not touch the power button when you see the autosave indicator, blah blah blah, in the top right screen corner. You can also save and quit your game after pressing minus. Good to know. I want to see what's in here real quick. Uh, I got the Paradise Planning photo. Got a letter from Nintendo. Dear Savannah, congratulations on your big move. We hope you enjoy your new island life. To celebrate this fresh start, we'd like to give you a gift that is sure to come in handy. From Nintendo. Okay, nice. I'm going to collect these Nook Miles real quick. Oh no, it's going to tell me how to use the phone. I, okay. Okay, great. I just want Nochi Miles. Nochi Miles. Okay. Um, what did Nintendo give me? Is this the Switch? Is that what this is? No, it's the simple DIY workbench. Oh, I can't memorize it yet. Okay. Where's my camera? Nice. <laughs> nice. I look great. Okay, well, that's gonna do it for this video. So, I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, please remember to give this video a like and subscribe so that way you don't miss out on me building the rest of this island. I'm going to be building it step by step in live stream, so make sure you are subscribed and have the notification bell turned on so you don't miss out on those live streams. Because you don't want to miss them. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to plant stuff. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> We'll, build, we'll be building the farming Cottage Core Island on stream. So make sure you join us for that. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!